this is our new IOLM with IADV option in this case. So how we can view that? So we can view in our applications uh, here. I'm going to explain you here on configuration. And then you need to check the software options that are there here on your screen. So now currently this OTDR is having IOLM as well as IADV option both together. So this is how you have to check the thing. Can you press the uh, home button now so that we can go to the app? Okay. So now this is our IOLM app with IADV option. So in this, when we start, the application will open like this. And we can see the screen. Yes. So now in this case, so we are going to select the various test configurations. So as required, here if you see these test configurations. So by default, we have these two connectors, one splitter option we have selected currently here. And if you want to modify, you can modify those options as you want it. So you can also create the link definition. And in case that if your network is having two cross two or two cross four or any of those options, then you can enable them and select your right uh, splitting options also. This is the best suitable for your KTH uh, network scenarios and ring network scenarios where and all that available. Additionally, as earlier that you can create your own uh, custom defined threshold values of your pass file levels. And uh, this is going to be, this can change of any of your splice value, could be a 0.5 or 0.4 and all the stuff, okay? So connector wise, any changes that you can make and around that particular thing and press okay. So that profile is going to be selected as a default setup here. And that is selected now. And we'll close and we'll go to the app. So once the fiber is connected to the network, what you have to simply do is that press start IOLM button. This is normal IOLM st uh, standard procedure. But IADB option gives us the additional option to view the optical uh, link trace, like your normal OTDR dot S4 file open trace. Okay. So now the link is currently under test. So IOLM is more intelligent when compared to your normal traditional OTDR trace file measurements. Like normal OTDR sends only one pulse uh, per uh, one pulse per, 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 per trace. But in case of IOLM, it is more efficient. It will test with the multiple pulse weights and more efficient to analyze your link characteristics like this. And any pass file status is going to be indicated in a red in block on a first short screen, the screen that you will able to see the, the problematic uh, points in, in this. So once the link is complete, you can go to the elements and in elements, you will see all the link event table, complete event table with pass file analysis will be able to view. This is a normal any IOLM test procedure that carries on. And it is going to indicate you if the splitters are present or anything. It is going to do the uh, dual wavelength test, 1310 as well as 1550. So here we are going to see that. So in this case, it's going to be uh, the easiest method. So you know to test multiply for the same, like uh, long distance is one pulse weight and short distance one pulse weight like that. This knows that what is the pulse weight to be used to effectively find the optical link uh, in a more efficient way. But however, some people wants to know the uh, by normal OTDR trace measurement uh, views, they like it more. And then, so then you can simply uh, change your view perspective here. Because this is going to measure it automatically and store the values inside. And once you can switch over, want to switch over to the .s4 normal trace file, that also is very much possible. For that, you need to go to here the, uh, the button called uh, elements. These elements will take you to the particular uh, screen. So wherein, so you can see the event table as well as you can switch over to the OTDR trace, okay? So now the test for 1310, both are completed and saving measurement is happening here. So once the saving happens, 
it will save you in .iolm file, .svr file, as well as the PDF file. So it consists of normal trace file, IOLM file, and PDF. It's one, one short button, click option that gives you. So as I explained to you, now I'm going to uh, the submenu called elements. Here we have the trace. Yes, someone wants to know what, what is that OTDR normal trace that they want to view, then clearly view the traditional OTDR view. So there's no separate need, the test need to be done for that again, because it's a comprehensive test, OTDR as well as IOLM, both together tested in one shot and going to. However, if you want to see that, then you can just press this icon. It is going to open your standard OTDR measurement viewer this viewer will, will show you the normal traditional trace, okay? So here, you have to press one is to one, means I want to normalize the complete view. Yes, now my complete trace and all the traditional OTDR traces files are available without any problem. But this is more efficient way of testing because this consists of your multi-trace testing and it is going to be the best optimized in auto mode, everything like that, okay? So that we already configured earlier in configuration. So it is going to indicate your start, stop, and everything. So auto gives us the best options all the time. So now this is a complete view. And if you want to switch to the next wavelength here, you can also go to the, go and view the next wavelength. And if you press one is to one, it's going to give you me the next wavelength complete characteristics at the bottom here, okay? But you cannot do any like your normal OTDR trees or measure, uh, manual measurement options. But however, in auto, it has given complete information option of it. However, if you want to check the IOLM, together both is also available. So it gives us the very easiest way of understanding in a representation way, more, more uh, uh, illustrative way. Now, when it comes to the, uh, the normal, no, normal IOLM trace, IOLM block, block testing, so this gives me the complete analysis and all that like normal IOLM and gives me you can change the connector or anything like that so that it will qualify for that particular option. That means event uh, element addition is available in this case, okay? So that's what uh, the phenomenon explains here. So if you go to link view, a link view is available anyway of it, okay? So what we have given here is that we already saved that particular thing and it is available in our thing. So that's how if you go to elements and if you wanted to see the trace, just press this trace. The normal OTR trace is available anyhow for you in this way, like this. And if you press one cross one, then it gives me the complete picture of the OTR trace as well as an IOLM. To back to, to, go, to go back to the IOLM, just come out of this viewer. Now you are back on the IOLM. So you, you have tested both simultaneously in this case, and the results are available. Now, as the results are saved, let us see what are the files that is saved in our database. I'm going to save it up. Okay, it is saved now. It is saving measurements. Okay. I wanted it to be saved in .s4, also in IOLM, and also the PDF file of it. So that PDF can be viewed and can be sent to any uh, further purpose. But here, let me show you how exactly the file is saved. In file manager, we have selected the folder called my documents and IOLM is the one, okay? So if I click it here, then I'm going to view my complete files in this thing. So currently we have tested as a fiber eight in this case. It has saved in IOLM file. It has saved in PDF. It also saved in 1310 normal traditional trace and also in 15 normal traditional trace. Let us see in a PDF file how exactly it is going to be shown to us. So when I open the PDF file, it is going to be the one with all the information given, okay? And your POS file link status and an IOLM, IOLM block diagram as well as the traditional what it is trace available both together gives us the best advantages of single shot, best optimized testing with indications of the problem that we are facing at the event. So this makes us more convenient in understanding the problem easier when compared to the previous uh, uh, traditional what trace testing and all the stuff. So this gives us a more 
uh, easy way, multi-pulse width, multi-acquisition, comprehensive uh, analysis with information of the trouble that we have there. So a solution also being provided according to it and complete report mentions the, what is the link losses and thresholds and what are the thresholds that we have kept in the system and all that. So this is the best way of representation. And the same thing can be uh, used along with in conjunction with the test flow and other applications that are available to us. Okay, So this is the uh, things. Uh, if someone has got only IOLM ADV option, still they can view a traditional ODDR trace file, but however, that may not be available to this app may not be straight away available to a conventional OTDR trace measurements, but if you go to this IOLM and then you go to a view, both simultaneously tested results, if you have IADV option. So I just have one more glance over here and I'll mention you, what are the other features of uh, IOLM IADV option? In IADV option that when you do a test configuration, okay, so default setup, if you can modify, and you can also do S4 file editor, like normal in OTDR, I have kept it in auto. If you want to do a specific OTDR test in conjunction with it, if you want to change any of those pulse widths, we can change that. Means earlier we used to have a dial options. The dial option is now in uh, uh, is provided like this and can be changed and all that. So wavelength can be selected like anything. If you select an SM, even the both 1310, 1550 wavelengths are available for you to select and all the stuff, okay? Auto will select the both in any way. And I've kept it in complete in automatic standard OTDR measurement system of it, okay? And link definition, someone you want to give, you can give a link definition, I as explained you earlier. And uh, you can also create your pass fail thresholds. As I explained, you can select your custom and do that. Okay, very simple to do. This can be configured one time in your uh, uh, in your OTDR. So that case uh, that that applies to the all the applications of the particular test. Now, when you go to the user preferences, so here I have mentioned you that this is my location of the file to be saved in this one. Okay, I will have one. I just wanted standard dot SVR file also to be saved along with it, and also generate a PDF file along with it and automatically save the measurements when the test is complete. So that makes us more convenient to all this. I wanted to have real-time OTDR, which was not there uh, uh, available in earlier case here. This is the one. So I wanted to be uh, all selected, like uh, fiber section and cumulative loss both. I want in kilometers. That is enough for me to get both together dot SOR, a PDF, and IOLM in one shot result measurement more uh, advanced uh, method of measurement methods are adopted in this case of measurements. So we recommend to go with IADV option with IOLM, it makes us together a uh, viewer of traditional viewer of trace files. And also the, the PDF generation with IOLM as well as uh, the S4 file viewing option in it. So this is the simplest way of explanation of IADV option in IOLM. So if you have any further questions, you can always please, please contact us.